What's up, y'all? Got a banger from the modern king. Let's get straight into it. Why American men don't want to date American women anymore? They are angry because they have hit the wall. Get ready with me to process my feelings. Whoa! Damn! Looking like Earthworm Jim's cousin. Shots fired! Brutal. Shots fired! Honey, put your face on before you get on camera. This whole dating thing, you know, I am 53. Whoa! Just because I'm 53 doesn't mean that I'm old and put on a shelf. Why does she look 93? I'm just saying. She must be a smoker. Like, your face... Like, my mom's in her 60s, and her face don't sag like that. You look old. I've never seen a gap in the bottom teeth, either. I can run with the best of the 30-year-olds, still. It's just Baby enough. girl, no, you don't. Stop. <laughs> Keep up with the 30 or no, you don't. Your hands say no. For people, I don't feel like I'm 53. They are also upset because men won't be. He's gonna tell her. Reasons that man is not asking you to be his girlfriend yet. Let's get into it. This, the question is no longer does he like me. The question is, do I like him? Have you ever been in a situation where you're seeing a guy for months, but he's still not committing? You're acting as boyfriend and girlfriend, but he still hasn't asked you officially. Normally, the man will give you some excuse, like it's not the right time, or I'm not looking for a relationship. Here's yeah, the because we know that y'all, She belongs to the street. we're going to tell you that because we want to blow the cheeks out. We want to bust your back out, but we don't want to date you. We don't care. Single woman, and you're trying to find a man. Here's my advice. Most single women complain about it. They say, this is why I can't, they can't find a man. You can't find a good man anywhere. And they all suck. I tried the apps, I tried bars, etc., etc. Here's the thing. Don't be one of them. Of course, they're not going to find a man. They're shit-talking men all day long. Facts. Hey, that's, that's Alex Hormozzi's wife. She's based. He's searching for husbands. But how do we feel about women flying out to Afrotech with the purpose of looking for husbands? For all of y'all trying to find a husband, let me put you on game, honey. They got a dating option on Facebook. I mean, it's literally the best place to find a husband. How to find a husband, first things first. Number one. Dude, it's like the fake lips, the fake eyelashes, like all of it. So like y'all look like like those like little clown dolls to me. We don't care. Take, if you're looking for the hotties in New York City, just go to the fancy supermarkets, especially on a Sunday morning. It doesn't matter where they go. Men are not coming to save them. For it real? doesn't matter how much they complain. We won't change our minds. And it doesn't matter how much they- uh, Old movie fan. I think I've seen him. Uh, I think I've seen him on the channel. Cry because we won't fall for it. Men have walked away and there's nothing they can do about it. What happened to men pursuing girls? What happened? Why aren't men pursuing women anymore? Honestly, I don't know why women keep asking this question over and over. But let's see if we can try and explain it to them one more time. But let's be honest though, the answers we're giving them are gonna go in one ear and right out the other because the reality is, they don't really want to know what men actually think. Nope. They just want men to validate what they think is the reason, even though it's completely wrong. So why are men not approaching women anymore? Well, to quote an old guy from a few hundred years ago, let me count the ways. And I'm going to give you the three biggest reasons why men have stopped approaching. Number one, because there's nothing to be gained in doing so. Sorry, ladies. But men have figured out that while you think you can have all the insane expectations in the world, you know, like if he isn't six feet tall with six pack abs and a six figure income, you also tell us that it's Mark of the B six six six. Men have even the slightest of expectations. It's like you got to be six foot, six inches, six pack, six figures, and other women got to want you. Um, and we're like, well, we don't want you to be fat. Shots fired! Shots fired! And they're like, you're a bigot. That's so stupid. It's like, come on. Hell any at all. Then we're controlling, manipulative, and abusive. The expectation in today's relationships is that they're a one-way street where men give, 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 and get nothing in return. Thanks, thanks, but no thanks. Number two, because it's not safe to approach women anymore. The risk to being in the vicinity of a woman or a group of women, let alone approaching one, is simply too great. False allegations are rampant at work, at school, in the home, literally anywhere in today's society. Yeah, right. Women have weaponized Me Too mm -hmm. and are using it to get back at men for even the slightest of reasons. Facts. Knowing not only will they be believed, even when it's been proven beyond a doubt that they're lying, but that they'll get a ton of sympathy for the 
trauma they face. Keyword sympathy. Sympathy. <laughs> Stop being a simp. Approaching a woman nowadays isn't just taking the risk of getting mocked, made fun of, or told to go away, incel. It carries the very real risk of arrest, prison, and having your life destroyed. Ask yourselves, ladies, would you be willing to take that risk? Knowing that if you just happen to pick the wrong person to approach, they'll destroy your life just because they can? Yeah, I didn't think so. And finally, number three, the biggest and best reason of all. You told us not to, ladies. Mm -hmm. You've made it abundantly clear you don't want us, don't need us, and most importantly, don't want us approaching you. So while you may think we men aren't listening, aren't paying attention, we heard you loud and clear, and we men are giving you exactly what you want. The real reason why good men are giving up on relationships is because women are teaching other women how men should think and feel. So when a man turns around and actually says what he thinks and feels, he's told he's wrong. But a man better not ever do this to a woman. Because oh, yeah. if he did, at the very least, she would be offended, and at the worst, he would be labeled a narcissist. If women actually listened to men, good men wouldn't be hard to find. I find it. Dude, it it's it's the, the 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 word narcissist is thrown out. So it's like Halloween candy. You, it just everybody gets it nowadays. Like every you're a narcissist. You're a narcissist. Like I got family members that have been through multiple marriages. That I'm like, well, what about your first man? Like, how many divorces did you initiate of the three you've had? Well, I initiated all of them. Okay. Well, what was the deal? Well, they were all narcissists. Don't you find that a little suspicious that you think everybody else was a narcissist, yet you initiated divorce on all of your divorces, and the only common denominator is you? I don't know. I, I find this a little hard to believe. I'm going to keep it a buck. Interesting how they constantly complain about a problem they caused, but at the same time, don't want a real solution, and only want to hear that men are the problem for not being traditional, approaching, courting, etc. They would rather play victim when well, someone- Well, the thing is, dude, like, men would be okay approaching women if they were more traditional. The modernization of the dating market, and women specifically, has really thrown out all chivalry in courtship, because why would I court a woman that's not of value to be courted? You want us men to be traditional, but in return, what do we get? A girl that's been ran, she belongs to the street. She has a high body count. She's probably had a lot of trauma from Chad's. She's not probably very loyal. She wants you to have six pack, six figures, six inches. Um, other women want you. They want you to have like this, that, and the third. Like a laundry list of things they want you to have. But yet we can't like ask for the basic things. Be feminine, beautiful, inspirational. Be quaint, uplifting, elegant empathetic natural like we ask for the basic stuff and they're like no absolutely not you're a bigot you you need to you need to lower your standards like i'm take me as i am i'm overweight i'm beat i wear cumbrellas i wear all this like this is just who i am and if you don't like it then you're a bigot you're a misogynist you're a narcissist it's like bro we just want you guys in your natural state that's all and just to be quiet keep our empty or keep our, our bellies full and our nuts empty it's really that simple like it's not hard for us men but us as men, we're not going to court a woman that's not traditional. So where's courting gone? It's it's gone. It's it's in the dust. It's in the wind now because none of you ladies are traditional. I can't court a woman that's not traditional. I can't open the door for a woman that's not traditional. You go back to being a traditional woman, and then courtship will come along with that. But they don't want to hear that. He calls them out for their hypocrisy instead of taking accountability and trying to change to solve the problem that they're complaining about. I have had multiple men in my adult big life. Big back bitty, bam ba lam, big back bitty, bam ba lam, she got a whole lot to say, bam ba dam, and then in the yeah. Shots fired! Shots fired! Oh man. Ask me the same question. I'm such a catch, honey, nobody's catching you! Shots fired! Shots fired! NFL lineman, maybe? Megan, you seem great. You seem awesome. How come you've never had a boyfriend? How am I supposed to answer that? Because yeah, I am great. I am awesome. Stop the cap. You can turn any yeah, slogan or stop the cap, dude. Into I am great. I am awesome. I am 315 pounds. Whoa, did I go too far? 
too far, I guess. Too far. I just stated I just stated a fact of how much she weighs. Maybe 250. Actually, I don't know. She, she's definitely in the twos. Definitely in the twos. Great. You wouldn't be on TikTok asking why you've never had a boyfriend. Before we continue. This is why I say life is a mirror, not a window, bro. Like, there's a reason you don't have a man. And it's because of you. You attract what you are. And I bet you guys that... The, and here's what, here's what I like to call in modern dating. It's called the, the Lizzo effect. Where all these big women think that they can date like regular sized women. If you're a big chick, here's the thing. You need to date a big dude. But now big chicks are like, no, nah, I don't want a big dude. It's like, what? Stupid. Why don't you want a big dude? That's what you are. You're asking us to accept you as you are, as a big back... But you won't accept another man as a big back. Like, huh? How does that make any sense? It makes it makes no sense at all. Like, and that's why I call it the Lizzo effect. Because Lizzo, at one point in time, she's like, I want a guy that's like, um, what's his name? Captain America? What's his name? Chris Evans? She's like, I like guys like Chris Evans. And I'm like, Chris Evans is shredded. He has lay of the land of women. He, there is no way, shape, or form he is going to be... Stupid. To go get with you. You're big as hell. He can't even pick up your right leg. Shots fired. Shots fired. He would have to skip leg day just to try to attempt to pick you up. But the thing is, these women, they don't want big men. They want the fit men, but they want to be big. It's like, ladies, life is a mirror, not a window. If that's what you want, you attract what you are. If you're a big back, that's what you get as a big back. Like, come on. Any future videos? I want to talk about... They dating in New York because it sucks. Oh, boo! <laughs> Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest <laughs> violin. <laughs> dating thing, you know. I am 53. Just because I'm 53 yeah. doesn't mean that I'm old and put on a shelf. I feel. I love, I love how like these women say like, I'm not old and put on a shelf. It's like, they're speaking what they really think. They're saying the opposite of what they think about themselves. I'm not lost. I'm not a lost cause. I'm not old and dusty on a shelf. Yes, you are. Stop it. <laughs> you know what it is. You run with the best of a 30 year old still. It's just the number people. Mm, that's what R. Kelly said and he went to prison. I'm gonna keep it a buck, honey. It, like, look at your hands. You look like you've been swimming all day. Shots fired! Shots fired! Hands are more pruned up than a jar of prunes. Like, come on. Pickled fingers. I don't feel like I'm 53. Because... But here's the thing. Looking and feeling is much different. You might not feel that you're 53, but you look 63. I'm still young. I don't have kids. You're half a hundred. What are you talking about? You're still young. We've been married. She's still young, has kids, that and has saggy never face. been married. Stop. I have no clue why she's single. She seems perfect yeah, right? based off the description she gave herself. <laughs> Ready with me to Whoa. process my feelings. So used to being alone. She's 30? Dude, I don't, is it me? Like, let me know in the comments. Do I look 33? I feel like I see these women that are 30 and I'm like, I'm like... Damn! She looks 40 to me. She's got more of a receding hairline than I do. What is going on? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Do I look 33 or do I look older or younger than that? I've been single my whole life. I definitely got love bomb. He was saying all the right things that I wanted in my future. And if I said what I wanted, he, he validated it. I think I'm over it now, but... Uh, it doesn't sound like you're over it if you're on TikTok crying about it. Just saying. I was a little sad. I did think that maybe, just maybe this year, I would actually have someone to do something with for Valentine's Day or be someone's Valentine. I've never had that before in my life. I'm 30. The American men don't want to date American women anymore. One, some American men feel that American women are very entitled. They feel that many American women expect a partner will fit a specific ideal. He has to be smart, attractive, successful, fit. They believe that many American women have unrealistic expectations. Yeah, that coupled with, if you want a guy that's smarter than you, he's in better shape than you, he's more confident than you, he's more charismatic than you, he's taller than you, he's stronger than you, 
you are describing a superior. And the thing is, when you describe a superior, that means you're inferior. You're not our equal. We're not here. If I'm all this better than you, I'm better than you. So treat us as such. I need that respect. But a lot of these women want all this and then they don't want to respect a man. It's like, no, I'm not going to go do that. I'm going to go do what I want, if that's the case. They expect their partners to do everything and they expect their partners to put their needs above their own. Too, because of the rise of radical feminism, there is a loss of femininity among American women and they even started to adopt some masculine traits. These women have turned into the men that they've always wanted to be with. Three, opportunistic behavior. A big percentage of divorces are initiated by women and a lot of men also express some frustration because they feel that there is a lack of commitment and loyalty among American women. And that is why a lot of American men are now dating non-American women because they believe that non-American women tend to prioritize mutual respect, our shared values, and commitment. See, look, one thing I want you to promise me is that no matter how long it takes, keep going. No matter how much it hurts, keep going. So you was placed on this earth for a reason. You weren't meant to be average. You were meant to excel. You gotta understand that this grind is meant to make you who you're supposed to be, a dog. A little grind ain't never hurt nobody. Stop being soft. Let's embrace it. If you go through that fire, you're going to come out real cold. That's what we want. Well, I mean, to, to this guy's point, hard choices, easy life, easy choices, hard life. Uh, I think that's by um, a Polish Olympian. It's a, an old quote. But back to her point, like, this is why the Passport Bros are up one. Passport Bros are, are pulling W's in the chat. W's in the chat, boys, for, for the Passport Bros. Um, but the thing is, people act like Passport Bros is something new. No, it's not. I know people that are my age that that's what their dad did. Their dad went over to the Philippines. Their dad went over to Thailand. Their dad went over to, you know, another country, Vietnam, and went and got a wife and brought her back and started a family, and they're still together happily. Like, and these are regular schmegular dudes. Like, I we used to work with a guy. This guy, he, he was not a good-looking guy. He looked like Clifford the Big Red Dog. Shots fired! Shots fired! <laughs> that even makes sense. Like, he just had a weird face. Like, he looked like he was on that show, The Oblongs. Um, but anyways, he went over to Vietnam and he met a chick. They fell in love. He brought her back, got a visa. And now they have a beautiful family. They have like two kids. He's regular schmegular dad bodied. She's fit and she's feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive. You know what I'm saying? She didn't have a high body count. He met her when she was like 19 and now she's like in her thirties or something like that. Like, like they've been together for a really long time and they're happy and he doesn't have to worry about her going anywhere because these women are like, all right, I had a kid with you. I'm with you. I'm, I'm dying with you. They have this undying loyalty. They're like, divorce is not an option in these other countries. But here, g women are like, divorce? I'll have four. <laughs> like, dude, I know girls. I knew girls in college that were in their 20s, like later 20s, that were getting like their master's or getting their doctorate, that were on like their second divorce already. I'm like, God, you're in your late 20s on your second divorce? Jeez, honey. But like, dude, I, I know people that have been married four and five times. Stone Cold Steve Austin's on his fourth marriage. You know what I'm saying? Like, this this is this is nothing crazy. I know people that have I know people that have married a woman, divorced her, and married her again. Do you know how stupid that is? You married her, divorced her, and married her again? Are you kidding me? That is so dumb. Why would you ever do that? But back to this chick's point, it's like uh, us as American men. We're out there and still expected to provide. We're expected to protect go gain and gather resources. So if that's what we're expected to do, we're going to go get with a woman that's going to respect that. And if you're not going to respect that, we're going to go get a passport. This is why I say get your passports, bros. Go to one of these countries. You like Spanish women? Go to Colombia. Go to Puerto Rico. You like Asian women? Go to, um, go to Thailand. Go to Vietnam. Go to the Philippines. You like white women? Go to Scandinavia. Go to, um, what's another one? Go to Sweden or something like that. Like Whatever you want, there's different flavors. So you can go and get, get whatever flavor you want. Just go get one of them. If you go get a Russian chick. You know what I mean? Like, it, it depends on what you like. You, there's there's, there's going to be a, um, there's going to be a subculture of women that you like that you can go find with a passport that won't be American women. 
You can do it, I promise. You just gotta do a little bit of research. But get your money up. Focus on yourself, guys. You gotta make sure you're him. You gotta make sure you're humble, intelligent, and masculine to find your her, a woman that's helpful, elegant, and radiant. But I hope all my CIA and FBI are doing good. My confident, intelligent, assertive men and my feminine, beautiful, inspirational women. I hope you guys are doing good. And once again, if you wanna be a king, you gotta be keen, impervious, noble, and groomed. And, a, and to find your queen, a queen must be quaint, uplifting, elegant, empathetic, and natural. So always remember that, guys. Know your value. Demand this value when you're out in the market because if women are going to demand it, us as men, we can do it too. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.